Well, I am not a mother, but I work with babies, particularly newborns. So this idea that a baby could be taken from its mother, who, which babies do recognize, by the way, as a caregiver, I'm, I'm holding a baby, I'm feeding a baby, I'm singing to a baby, loving a baby, but when I hand the baby back to his or her mother, she knows that's her mother. Always. It amazes me every time. So I'm very affected by these tender age shelters and what's going on right now. This first poem is by the poet Rigoberto Gonzalez from his book Unpeopled Eden. It's a longer poem and I've only taken out one piece of it. So this is part two of the poem. It's the same title as the book, Unpeopled Eden. It's called After the Ride by Bus. A strand of hair pretends to be a crack and sticks to the glass. A piece of thread sits on a seat, pretends to be a tear. The bus makes believe no one cried into their hands and smeared that grief onto its walls. The walls will keep the fingerprints a secret until the sheen of oils glows by moon. Rows of ghosts come forth to sing. Until that keening rocks the bus to rest, the fumes intoxicate the solitary button, single witness to the shuffling of feet and a final act of fury, the yanking of a wet back shirt. The button popped right off the flannel, marched in the procession and then scurried to the side. The lesson, if wounded, stay behind to die. The bus breathes out the shapes, turn silhouettes, turn scent of salt and sweat. The steering wheel unspools, every window shaking loose the wetness of its glare. And now, a riddle squats over the parking lot. What creature stands its ground after evisceration? Roadkill. Clouds close in to consume the afterbirth. 